be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with dope videos. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the remix effect on multiple tracks. Okay, so basically, if you're brand new to what the remix effect can do, it's a plug in right here in Logic Pro 10 that you can use to elevate your sound, makes your sound sound a little bit more unique and interesting. Um, so for instance, on this melody track, if I come over here to my audio effect plugins and scroll like down to uh, multi effects, you can pull up remix effect. And I'm gonna show you basically what it will sound like to do the remix effect. Um, you can do little cool things like adjust the filter, we do little stutters, tape stop effect, repeater effects, I'll just show you. So that's the remix effect before I showed you how to put it on one track, but say what if you want to put it on like on a group of instruments. So say if you want to put it on all of these melody tracks, right? Then what you could do is just highlight all the melody tracks that you want. Just you know, click on one and push shift and then highlight all of them. Go to your mixer window and where it says output, go to a bus track instead. And you're just going to bus it to an open auxiliary track. So it's going to send all these signals over to your, to this auxiliary track. Just rename this. Just say melody effects and then put the remix effect on this track instead. Now that it's on this track, on, on this particular track, um, this auxiliary track, I can affect everything here. So I can come over here and maybe let's say right here in the track. And I can affect both of these two without having to switch out things. It'll just be on this group. So let's just go ahead and um, first thing is first, come over here to this automation setting. Instead of going read, you're going to go to latch. And that's going to pretty much automatically record whatever you do right here. So I'm just going to push play and we're going to do some cool stuff. So now we have um, this remix effect that was now applied to both of these tracks or basically everything within this group. And if you do like make a mistake, make sure you turn latch off first, turn it back to read and then push the letter A once you're in the workspace window. And then um, that's going to pull open all your automation settings. And to make adjustments, all you have to do is just click right over here and you can see under used all of the different stuff that you did so say with this tape stop effect if i want to adjust that i can click on that zoom in and move these around here so say if this was a little off y'all can do that like that this is pretty much on point we can move right there and now you have it sounding a whole lot better um now you can also put the remix effect on like your stereo out which is going to be affecting the whole beat so I can come over here and go to remix effect, put that on the stereo out. And now I can record whatever I want on the whole beat. So I can come over here where, you know, saying you have your automation, go to latch. And then let's say if we want to put this on the whole beat here, say like during this first core, uh, hook, I mean verse, excuse me, for this first verse, I want to put like a uh, filter effect on the whole beat. I can do that right here now.
And so, like I said, I can come over here and adjust any of those if I didn't like anything, turn this back to read. Always make sure you turn latch off. Um, if you don't, you're gonna be recording whatever you do on the track. So just push A again, and now I can come over here to the stereo out, and anything that I did right there on the stereo out, I can see. Uh, just come over here to any of these. You know what I'm saying? Make adjustments to these, like so if I want to edit any of this. And now we can just check this out, see how it sounds. So you can just do some whole lot of cool things once you can apply the remix effect to multiple tracks instead of just one. Just wanted to cover that real quick. Um, also, like if you want to export your file um, and export all of the different um, tracks, what you want to do is make sure that you are including volume and pan automation. OK, and. Um, you want to definitely make sure that that is selected whenever you bounce down your tracks. Don't. Um, you can also say include audio tail. You can also say um, bypass um, effect plugins. Don't do that. Don't bypass that. This gotta be selected though. This is just basically if you want to export all your files for like, you know, your track stems and everything like that. Okay, so that's that's what one thing I wanted to point out as well. Before we end the video, I do want to let you know that we do have courses that you can purchase on my site, beatmakingbasics.com. Uh, once you purchase the courses, you can download them and then you won't have to have any type of internet access to watch the videos. Okay, um, the branded logo that you see on this video right around here, you're not going to see that in the course videos. There's a lot of different benefits from that. I have been, I have a um, beginner's level course. So if you're brand new to music production, you just need to know all the fundamentals, grab that course. If you um, know a little bit about music production, but want to know how to make beats in Logic Pro 10, I got a Logic Pro 10 course you're going to want to grab. Got a lot of other cool stuff there too. Melody courses, all types of stuff, man. Go to beatmakingbasis.com. Get yourself a course, a kit, and also sign up for our 100K giveaway. Basically on our road to 100,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away some cool prizes at different milestones. First milestone is at 10,000 subscribers. We're going to be giving away a pair of headphones. So make sure you go to our site, beatmakingbasis.com. Grab a course kit and grab the bundle pack so you can get entered to win, okay? The bundle pack's only five bucks. Also comes with some sounds and stuff like that. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. Also leave a comment and buy some courses and stuff, okay? We're out.